All right, it's Thursday. That means we're being joined by Eric Raditz from Florida Weekly. Eric, always a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much for coming. Pleasure to be here. All right. All right, let's dive right into it. So the front cover of this week's edition, talking about caregivers. If anyone has ever taken care of a loved one, you know that it is just not easy. Yes, and it's something definitely to consider uh, here in Florida. If you take a look at our 21 million residents, over 26% of them are 60 years and plus. And if you take a look at about a half a million of them are 85 years and older. So something we need to talk about is uh, caregiving. Uh, during the challenge of caregiving for a family member, there's emotional and financial and physical challenges challenges, uh, but there is hope avail help available. Uh, this week we sit down with experts who offer suggestions of advice and agencies you can turn to to help with the process of uh, caregiving. Uh, we also take a look at some of the examples of what some, uh, our editor uh, Eric Straken from Naples uh, went through in caregiving with his for his mother. Uh, and pick us up uh, for the information you need to know. It's certainly something that we need to discuss and be aware of and take good care of. Yeah, always have to be there for your loved ones. In your business section, you guys are profiling kind of a family business that's been around for four decades in Punta Gorda. Yeah, and so if you're uh, familiar with the Punta Gorda area, you definitely know that you need to go on out to the Fisherman's Village. And we take a look at the next coming uh, generation. We sit down with Chris Evans, entrepreneur. He's opening a, a, his fourth restaurant, The Pier at Fisherman's Village. We take a look at what it's like to be an entrepreneur. We're sitting down with him to talk about the path that it's come to now, uh, passed on through the family, his success in the business and the history, and what's to come and what to enjoy if you go there right now. All right, arts and entertainment, you have a big picture on the front, but it's a smaller picture that I want to focus on. You have our very own Sean Martinelli that you guys are featuring in Florida Weekly this week. Well, we had to, and we love positive stories of Florida Weekly, and I know NBC2 does as well, and so it's really cool. We get to the very beginning of what happened with the special series, Stories to Share, uh, something Daryl Adams did something about after he heard more and more of the viewers from NBC2 saying they wanted positive news. Uh, he, it's actually gained awards from the Florida Associated Press, Broadcast Association, and the Edward R. Murrow Awards singled it out as the best series of 2018. Uh, we sit down uh, with Sean, talked about its popularity, how he managed to get to where it is, and the importance of having positive news, and positive news right here on NBC2. Uh, thrice weekly, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Friday at the end of the 6 o'clock broadcast, but we get a little background on how it came to be. And if you haven't had a chance to sit down and meet Sean and talk with him, we are spoiled here because we get to talk to him almost every day. But he is just a very kind and well-spoken and very careful with the way that he presents his stories that really bring out every emotion so it's worth a watch. Yeah, very talented and a great guy. Um, there's some top picks. If you're looking for things to do in Southwest Florida, we got Jerry Seinfeld in town and you're also showing some independent movies downtown. Yes, uh, so it's actually was postponed from last uh, September 2nd down to September 9th. The Fort Myers Film Festival is doing TJM kicking off their 10th season of uh, encouraging independent filmmakers and watching independent films with great uh, guests and celebrity judges including one I hope to Nate Foy, <laughs> uh, John Davis, John Bafar, uh, myself as the host, Melissa DeHaven. I come out and watch non-distribution non short independent films. Uh, but there's more, uh, along with Jerry Seinfeld, there's Once at Broadway Palm, uh, Disturbed is in town, and you can also check out Drag Queen Bingo. Plenty to do, no matter what your tastes are, in Tom Pickup, Florida Weekly. On stands on the line device. So Monday. I know. don't. I don't think I can be called a celebrity judge. I think that Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> is a celebrity, but I'm very excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, we couldn't get Jerry, so you'll have to do <laughs> Nate. You're we're, stuck with me. We're very excited about it. Actually. Well, I'm excited as well. I look forward to it. Thank you. All right, Eric. Thank you very much. See you next week.